As I arrive, I sort of see two guys and they're holding this other guy up and he looks like he's in a really awkward position and I'm like... Just look out of my shoulder. Fire was floating out the back on a six-foot day with a dislocated shoulder, I'd definitely be a little bit worried. I mean, like when you're swimming and you're sort of, you're kind of using your arms for balance and one of them ain't working. Uh, Reedy, are you OK, mate? <laughs> OK, mate. Uh, I can see us with you. Um, if you need any further assistance, let me know. I'm probably going to need assistance on the beach. I'm not going to bring him in until I've got someone to help him off the back of the mat. I'll come here, Bill. You're not going to stay with me, are you? Get on the seat. Guys, I'm a, I'm a hand surgeon. Yeah. Just stand by. He's actually a surgeon. He's going to try and put it back into place himself out the back here. The guy's trying for some, I don't know what reason, trying to put his shoulder back in himself. Yeah, well, I don't know. That's a bit gnarly if you ask me. You get it? <laughs> Well, he's had a few cracks at it, unsuccessful. Sit behind you. Yep, yep. And grab on with my yep. left arm. Yep. He got on the back with me and we just putted in. I took him in as gently as I could. Uh, just get ads, mate. I'm going to bring him in right in front of you. I don't know if you can hear me yet, but uh, just right in front of you now. You can give him a hand off the back. Yeah, I'm watching this guy get brought in by the ski with his dislocated shoulder. And, you know, I just couldn't even imagine the kind of pain he'd be in right now trying to hang on. Just hold on, buddy. The next thing that I was worried about was how we were going to get him off the ski. It's going to be hard, me trying to beach the ski and get him off at the same time. And there's waves coming, and it's all a bit, you know, he's got a dislocated shoulder, he's in a lot of pain. Oh, you all right? Yeah. No worries. I've seen big men covered in tattoos, bawling like babies uh, with dislocated shoulders. This guy seemed to sort of, yeah, I don't know, he's either really tough or he'd done it before because he didn't seem as concerned as I would have been.